Callum. Out of my first flight using the Mavic Air 2 and all the equipment I've purchased for it. A couple of practice flights prior to this, but this is the first time I've been able to bring everything together. So as you can see, I have the Manfrotto backpack on. And that's got all the equipment in. I'm filming this with my iPhone at the moment. What I'll do when I get to the launch site is film a little bit with the iPhone, get the GoPro out, then set the GoPro up and start recording mainly with the GoPro. We'll see to lay the kit out, start using it, and film some footage of it in use. See you when I get to the launch site. I'm at the launch site now. What I'm going to do is take the tripod off the back, get the GoPro out of the side pocket, get those two mounted, and then I'll show you the rest of the unpacking of my kit and my setup for launch. started then. As I've already said, I've taken the GoPro out and set it up on the tripod. Everything else is still in the bag. So what I do first, open the bag up and inside here, I have a combination poncho and top type. So this comes out and goes down on the ground. It doesn't matter if it's a bit windy when I put it down. The first thing I do is put the bag on to hold it. This serves two purposes then. First one is keeps the equipment clean while I'm getting it out. Secondly, if it does start raining, I can quickly put it over, cover it up, and keep everything dry. Let's start with the rest of the equipment then. So I have the propeller guards for now. I'm still using those at the moment. I have my drone pilot iVis, so I'll put that on well now. Um, I have a first aid kit with me, we'll keep that in the bag. And in the top bit here I also have my drone pilot ID card, which now we're out I'll clip onto my side. And should anyone come and talk to me, I've got some ID easily available. Got the anemometer, we'll check that out later, but I did check the forecast out earlier. Bottle of water. And then in the side here, we have the drone. Take the drone out. Controller. Drone, battery pre-installed, and got the PGY Tech propeller guards on there, and we take the gimbal guard off as well. Put that on there for now. What I also have is a little extender for the iPhone cable, because the one built into the controller doesn't quite work in my case. It's not quite long enough because it's L-shaped. So we've got that as well in there. And the other bit I've forgotten out of there is the launch pad. Just put everything else down there. 
Let's put the launch pad out. Put it orange side up today. Hopefully in this field you can already see the use of the launch pad. The grass isn't really long, but it is long enough to get in the way of the propellers, especially on a drone as short on the legs as a Mavic here too. So this gives me a little bit of extra clearance on the ground when I'm doing that. So let's get the drone legs extended. And Propeller guards together. I have a video about installing the propeller guards. I'll put a link up top. You can have a look at that if you want to see any more detail. But all I'm doing at the moment is finding the left and right sides. I'm just installing them together. facing away from me. Get the right side on. silver and no ring against no ring on that one so that's great so I put that on and obviously I am going to put it facing away from me don't want to launch with the drone facing towards you because if you get your controllers mixed up you are having a drone coming towards you at quite high speeds on these ones coming in around about four miles an hour on the gusts, go up to five there, and six, that's perfectly fine, flying in, goes up to seven from that direction, so the wind is actually coming towards me, and it is one thing I am going to have to watch out again when I'm bringing the drone in towards me for landing or anything like that. Before we go any further then, I should do the basic checks. So what I'm going to do is um, do a screen recording of my phone now and I'll have that on and off during this flight to show you some footage and things like that. What I'm actually more interested in is UAV forecast and that's showing good to fly. Wind's about 10 mile an hour, gusts about 13. Again I'm a little bit sheltered here. Um, so I suspect that's not reflected of where I am at the moment, but that is good to fly on that. It is showing one against the map, which is um, an airfield nearby. If I click on the map, nothing major showing on that one. There's a green there. But what I'm actually going to do is use the Nats drone assist to double check all of that. So you can see that is showing green to go, follow the drone code. If I click on the top, I get an area report there. 
it's always useful to make sure you record that and if I wasn't actually recording this for a video I'd be taking some quick screenshots of that just to prove that I was safe to go at the point I launched. Controller then. First thing I'd do is I'll pop the thumbsticks on. Another good benefit of having this top cover underneath me is if I do drop the thumbsticks, which I have done, um, they drop on top of here and make it a little bit easier to find them in the grass. Open out the antenna, put my little adapter on, and the other thing I have to do is switch the cable direction around. Because to get this to work with my phone and to avoid me hitting any buttons or anything, um, I have my phone at this orientation and protection from falling on there. We are in the DJI Fly app then. Control is in normal mode. Turn the controller on. Wait till I see controller connected. There we go, remote control connected. Over to the drone. And the drone on as well. Let's see if we can get it up in the air then. And if you notice, I stood um, to one side while it was launching, just in case the wind blew it back. Let's just take it up. On about 12 minutes of battery time, not worrying me too much because I mean the drone is right there, and um, so it's not as if it's far away or I'm going to lose anything. But what I am going to do now is just bring it into land. I'm going to drop the gimbal all the way down, and I'll just give you an example of how the landing launch mat works. Bring it in. going to do now is turn the drone away from me and that makes left left right right and forward and backwards appropriate so if I drift right the drone moves to my right and that makes it a lot easier to figure out what you're doing we can see the pad now and I can start bringing it down and adjusting as I see fit on there as well. Now it's getting ready to land. I just bring it down. Landing. And the drone has landed. And that is down and landed. So what I'll do now is I'll swap the battery and we'll take it out a little bit further.
Also going to swap the GoPro battery. both the drone and the GoPro battery what you want to be doing is leaving them in a shady area and stood up to cool until you actually put them away they get hot um, and you need to give them some time to cool and we're back on the GoPro battery now another quick tip when you're swapping batteries also check your SD card capacity what you don't want to be doing is swapping your battery and then finding out you've got to go and swap your SD card a few minutes later. Luckily I've got plenty of capacity on this card. I'll do the same thing when I swap the drone out. So I'm going to put the other battery in the drone now. Turning the controller on. For safety the recommendation is always to turn the controller on first. Connected. in the foil protector next battery we're going to look at a closer more detail of the Manfrotto bag I'm using I'll put a link up to my unboxing and feature uh, video you can take a look at that on in my drone playlist I should have um, videos for most of the equipment you're looking at today so have a look at the playlist where appropriate I'll put links up above me and I'll try and put some details at the end as well ah, and I've been caught with new battery request firmware update now I checked all the firmware before I left, but what I didn't do is check every battery. I put the battery in that we just flew with, didn't ask for a firmware update, so I assumed all my batteries were therefore gonna be okay. This one isn't. Luckily for me, I've got decent 4G signal where I am, and phone data's on at the moment. Not really any trouble with the OcuSync 2 and having radios on on the phone so wi-fi or 4g not had any connectivity problems if i did start having connectivity connectivity problems i'd start turning the radios off put it into flight mode and things like that but having data on does enable me to make use of the maps um highly useful um if i do actually lose a drone or i want to see where it is let's click go fly we're on. So I'm going to try out a little bit of distance flying on this one. What I'm going to do is put it into video and 1080 on 60 frames per second. So even though I've already flown change the battery I bought it in for landing I'm still going to go and check my pre-flight on there so my auto return to home altitude we're okay at 40 meters 1 to 20 on max altitude again and max distance I may have to up that and plenty of space on there because I haven't actually done much recording um, on the drone at the moment so this is the first bit where I'll do some main recording on that one and here's actually the reason why I did the traditional thing that seems quite common with drone pilots and um, I didn't actually click play uh, sorry didn't actually click record when I was flying last time and it wasn't until I was doing some of the quick shots that I realized that so we are going to hit record and that is now recording I'm going to take off using the button 
in the fly app so press the takeoff button hold takeoff and what that does that spins it the, the propellers up and gives you a, a little bit of altitude as well you can see it's picked up the propeller guards I'm assuming that adjusts the balance a little bit on there as well let's take it for a little bit of a distance flight then there is a hill over to my right show you that so a hill over there and um, I thought we'd go and take a look at that that's brought it down what I'm going to do now is pack all the gear away that's all three batteries used again there's a little bit left in this one but what I'm going to do is give it time to cool down so I'm going to pack all the gear away and that's it for today so that's really my first proper flight I say I've had a few practice flights just to check everything's working okay but this is the first flight where I've come out with some objectives hopefully seen demonstration for some of the equipment I've used the high-vis jacket has been interesting I've had two people come into the area where I'm filming so it's a local field and um, dog walkers sometimes come up on there and um, they've spotted me very clearly none of them have actually approached me um, gave them a friendly wave um, but you know it does you know show out and hopefully it makes you look a little bit more official and like you're supposed to be here I'm going to leave the camera recording, but I'm going to say goodbye now. If you enjoy the video, please press like. If you're enjoying all these vi um, videos and interested in drones and cameras and the kit around them, please subscribe to the channel. Plenty more content coming up. Thank you very much.
and the last most important thing, now I'm back on my iPhone, got everything packed up. But the most important thing is leave no trace. But for two reasons. One is, you know, that's the right thing to do in the countryside, no rubbish, no litter. But also, some of this kit's quite expensive and I don't want to be leaving it behind. Um, so, quick look around where I've launched everything, had anything and nothing there. Again, that's another benefit of using that poncho tarp cover. It, everything stays on site there. And again, with the landing cover, landing mat, these, everything's together on that one. Um, last walk around and I'm done. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you enjoy my content and want to see more of it, please subscribe. You'll get a notification when each video comes out. Um, ding the bell and it'll actually come through to you straight away. Have a look at my drone play playlist see other things on there. I'll put a link at the end here. Thank you very much. Enjoy.